What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent. I have a team here with the Salt Vest as Cavalier. These EVs allow it to live two hits from Choice Specs Tapu Lele. Whether it is Psychic or Psy Shock, this set can also take on big threats such as Cure and Black, Dragon Dance Mega Gyarados, so it should be a fun Pokemon to play around with. I'm pairing it with the core of Tapu Bulu plus Heatran. Tapu Bulu really helps out just by providing passive recovery to a Cavalier, which otherwise doesn't have any at all. And I figured a second Steel type will be nicer right here just because I could see a Cavalier having to take on other threats and not just fairy and psychic type attackers. For example, Astro Ninja if Bulu gets worn down, so Heatran does help out. This is also the Stealth Rocker. Megalopony and Greninja provide all the speed control we need, and then Tornadus provides the hazard control right here, just the Defogger. The one ground immunity, I'm okay with using a really offensive ground immunity, because even if this gets caught by Stone Edge, we have Bulu to take ground type attacks as well, so that will be able to help us out right here. Tornadus is also the Z-move user for the team, and yeah, that'll be the team. Let's get started. Alright, I have a game ready here. Zapdos is going to be very tough to break, but I can knock it off. The problem is I'm going to risk static while doing that, but I really need those leftovers gone. In fact, I'm going to try to do that immediately as they lead off with the Lando T. Hmm, if this is Choice Scarf with Stone Edge, then I actually do die in one hit because I'm fully offensive, so maybe I should switch out. Yeah, let's go Tapu Bulu. As they go hard Zapdos, I actually take this on just fine. So I'm just going to Swords Dance up here, like... I don't really fear this thing, as they go to Ferrothorn. If I went for superpower, they would probably kill me, and I don't think with any attack investment I kill them. Let me just make sure though, because like, I want to be careful. Now I still kill this. Most of the time. Alright, 95 to 113. That's a roll I'm getting at. Okay, this is still fine. Like, what? I really don't care about this Zapdos. I could see Mawal coming in. Oh, they go back to Pharaoh. What are they trying to weaken me for? I'm like so confused. The terrain is gone, sure, but like you can't even roost this safely. Yeah, this is great. Like the Zapdos is such a pain for me to break and you're just letting me weaken it. You can't roost it, dude. I'm going to do like neutral damage then. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm just going to Horn Leech again. I mean, static is going to be very annoying whenever that happens. It is static, right? How many times have I clicked this? I clicked it twice. Yeah, it is static. Okay, they go Ferrothorn. I will always superpower. Like, I don't understand why these switches are being made. It doesn't help them at all. Yep, there's that. I finally do get Static Paralyzed, but at plus three, as long as I don't get full parried on the Roost, I will do over half. There we go. Yep, that's doing way too much damage, and I'm back at full now. So let's SD up here and do it again. I'm still faster than Ferrothorn, by the way. Like, there's no doubt about it. I'm getting very lucky not getting full parried, but... Okay, they go to Ferro there. I will always superpower. And I do break through and knock it out. Yeah, I, they just went for the odds at that point, I guess. Out comes Mawal, so... Tapu Bulu did its job. It weakened Zapdos a bit, and it got rid of Ferrothorn. So that really helps out, like, Greninja Ice Beam Endgame on my end. I like Heatran here a lot, but if they, if they Swords Dance, I have to hit Magma Storm. Or else I lose. That's it. <laughs> what else is Tapu Bulu doing for me? I can still beat the Greninja. I'm just going to stay in. I don't think I need this Paralyzed Bulu. I don't want them to win with Swords Dance, and then I just lose to Magma Storm Miss. Yeah, I don't care about Play Rough. Like, that's okay. And uh, what I'll do here is just go Heatran. I think it's time to get up rocks and start to chip things down for... For Gren. Like, I just need to start spamming Ice Beam. So they bring out Komo'o, that's okay. Could be the sub belly drum set for sure, but I have speed control. Let's go Tornadus here. As they just go for Stealth Rock, so that's fine. Uh, I don't like this scenario, I have to hit Hurricane. Because if I hit Hurricane into Zapdos, then the Z does kill after. I'm gonna go for Hurricane. Oh, they go hard into the, the Ice Beam switch in, dude. What? I'm just gonna take my damage, I don't care if you kill me. That's a crazy play. As they go Zapdos there, oh, it just died from 42. Never mind. So that that damage that I got on Mawal is actually so good for Greninja. Mawal comes right back in. I think I'll just U-turn. Like, who do I not need? A Scavalier is. I want to keep a Scavalier. I'm just trying to not lose to Komoo. <laughs> like, I think Heatran is okay. As they go for a knockoff, they're probably dual. Like. 
attacking. Like, they probably have Sucker Punch as well. Dual Dark... St st I was about to say Stab, but that's definitely not Stab. Yeah, they have both. Uh, let's go Lop here. And um, I'm just going to hide Jump Kick. As Landorus comes in. Does a good amount. I should definitely keep my Lop Bunny. Yeah, I think the best play is Tornadus on the U-turn. That's fine. Mawal comes back in. I think at this point I have to hit Hurricane and go for the win. Because I can't switch out into anything here. I just have to hit. I do hit. Nice. And um, that'll ensure that I can pick it off with Low Bunny and then I should be able to win with the Greninja. So there's a Sucker Punch. Let's bring you out. I guess we'll hit this guy up with a fake out now. Yep, that's able to knock that out. Let's see who comes in. Like, if Kamo comes in, I'm just gonna high jump kick it. I have to hit, but oh, I just clean crit it. Wow. I think that would have put them out of range of substitute though, so I don't know how much it mattered. Yeah, I don't think they could sub after a high jump kick. And that's like the only set that could win them the game. Cause like I could beat the Z move set easily. So here's this guy. Let me just Ice Punch as they go for Earthquake, and yeah, that's game. 100%, because no matter what this is, it can't lock a move. Like, even Scarf HP Fire, it's not going to do anything. I guess they're going to go for Shuriken. No, they go for Hydra Pump, but I can just bring out my Greninja now. And this is the win con I set up the entire game, so... I'll be able to knock them out right here. I don't know what they were doing with the Zapdos Ferrothorn. Like, that was really odd, but I'll be right back. Okay, I have a game right here. We have Bisharp Sticky Webs, in which Megalopony is the perfect anti-lead force, so I definitely enjoyed that. They do lead right with the Galvantula. That is perfect. What I can do here is just go for Fake Out and follow it up with a return. I don't really... I'm just going to return, in case Tornadus comes in, or Bisharp, okay. I was expecting Torn, but I can just follow it up with High Jump Kick now. Like, I can defog webs later. They go to guard shop next. What? And it's lefties. Okay, do you want an ice punch? Okay, now Tornadus comes in. I'm very confused. You're not Choice Scarf on webs. Choice Scarf Tornadus on webs would be the most odd thing. I'm just going to return. So I just kill like a one and a half Pokemon there for no reason. And this thing finally comes back in to get up webs, right? Yeah, but like... If you're going to do this, I guess, like, maybe he wanted to scout for Fake Out. I don't think you should have scouted with Bisharp, though, because that doesn't give you anything. Who comes in now? Zam, okay. This thing's a problem, obviously. I need to make sure I don't lose to Bisharp. That's the big threat here. I don't think I can lose to Bisharp no matter what, because even if I give it a Defined Boost, Mega Lop can take the plus three Sucker Punch. And I should be okay. Who do I want to bring out here? I guess this Cavalier is okay. As uh, Focus Plus does 26, that's actually really nice. I can honestly just Mega Horn. I mean, I could miss. Is there like... I don't want Bisharp coming in for free, though. Drillhorn could miss. I'm just gonna Mega Horn. Yeah, Bisharp tries to come in here. And I just clean knock it out with this Cavalier. Like, even with not a lot of attack investment, this thing is really strong. So it comes to the Garchomp. I don't want the Swords dancing up on me. That would be, like, really bad. I'm just gonna Iron Head. That doesn't even kill me. Unfortunately, Iron Head just leaves it on 1%. <laughs> a little bit annoying there. I mean, at this point, I can't lose. I'm just going to go Tornadus. Although, if they... I guess I should just keep the Defog, just in case it ends up being the Difference Maker. You never know. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> I don't know why they went for... I mean, I guess they tried to catch my Choke into Torn. That was, like, the one way they maybe could have won, but... I don't think either of these guys were doing it alone. So here's this guy. My play is 100% just sack this off. What did I trace? Swarm? Okay. Yeah, just go Bulu and Horn Leech. Like, that's going to give me way too much recovery back, and they can't really switch out. Yeah, like, look at my health. <laughs> and then they're going to, like, I guess try to Swords Dance, but I still have Scarf. I have Tornadus, which takes on the Mikyu. Like, there's nothing they can do here. So two really odd games to start it off. At least the Scavalier came out this game, though. Like, I'm pretty sure in the first game, every other Pokemon came out besides the Scavalier. My play is always to stay in on Swords Dance, since that's their only way of winning. They have to go for a Z-move here to even have a chance of knocking me out, but they should try to SD again on a Choke. 
No, they just go for the Z move. I think they should have always Swords Dance because that's their one way of trying to win. Hmm. How do I want to go about this? Alright, yeah, let's just do it the simple way. Called, um, Z move and the Nice Beam. Oh, that just straight up killed? Did I crit them? I mean, it didn't matter if I did, but... No, that just straight up kills. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. Mega Pinsir is a gigantic threat, and we have to break another Zapdos as well. This could be my toughest game yet. Yeah, this is really bad. But I will try. Let's lead off with Greninja against the Zapdos. I do like Ice Beam right here. Just weaken it as they go Pex. That's a smart play. No freeze, but that's fine. Let's go with Tornadus on the T-Spike. Yeah, and just a defog that away right now. Zapdos comes right back in. I can easily just go Heatran on the Discharge, thankfully no para, and just get up my rocks right now. Oh dude, what? You're really willing to give me the Zapdos? And they're still willing to give me the Zapdos. Yeah, that's actually so good. The problem is I'm probably in range right now, so I should get out of here and go Bulu on the Defog. Oh, I should have just stayed in then. I guess it doesn't really matter though, like... I can just Swords Dance here and then put on the pressure with Horn Leech after. I don't think it would go hard pincer, like, especially when you're going from one Rock Week to the other. I'll go for Horn Leech here, because, like, we saw this earlier. I literally take on Zapdos with this set. Yeah, they're, like, max HP, too. They're not even very defensive. Dude, why the para full para? Don't reduce down a full para. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I break Zapdos, which is, like, the first step here. Granted, my uh, Tapu Bulu is a bit weak, and I was trying to avoid that. I gotta switch out into something that doesn't allow them to set up for free. I'm gonna go hard Tornadus. I don't even care if they knock me out. Like, as long as I'm not losing the game right there, it's okay with me. So let's bring out Greninja now and just go right for U-turn. They're gonna go to Pax. Yeah. And uh, now that that Defogger is gone, I like the idea of getting up rocks again. Nice. Psst. I don't even care about your T-Spec at this point. Like, eh, maybe I do. <laughs> It would be cool if I hit my Magma Storm, though, because that was dead right there. I was really hoping they would try to recover. How fast is this? Okay, I don't want to take Poison turns on anything else yet, so let's go to this guy. Hit him up with the... Just the knockoff. On the Hard Pincer, okay. I mean, I can just Iron Head the next turn. I was thinking about second Bulu there, but then I realized, who am I bringing out after? <laughs> so Victini comes in. I have to attack this to put it in range of Greninja's hits, as well as Low Bunny, so... Let's go for Drill Run. If it's Z-Celebrate, I have to hit. Okay, they go for U-Turn. <laughs> That's good for me. Guard Chomp comes in. I do hit my Drill Run. High crit ratio move. I do get a crit there, which is a bit nice. I can just bring this out now. I don't know why they're layering hazards this late into the game. Like, I don't think it's that good for them. And yeah, now I'm back at full. So Victini comes in. I just sack off a Scavalier. To Glaciate, okay. Cool tech, I guess. Let me just fake out as the Chomp comes in. I can just follow it up with a return. They maybe tried to catch a Bulu for like 10 more percent there. I don't know what that play was. I was in Earthquake range. I'm just going to keep that. Switches out, but I think I just won with the U-turn. Yeah, I don't know how this guy... I, I don't know how I won this game. This guy just played his endgame so badly. I swear he had the position with just Pinsir plus Gar Scarf Guard Chomp at some point, but... Hey, I'm not complaining. Oh, uh, what's my best way of going about this, though? I don't think I need Lop. Yeah, I think the play is just U-turn uh, twice for win now. Or I guess I just, yeah, I just U-turn into Bulu, and then Bulu will do it for me. Yep, let's see what they have for me. They have Ice Beam. I did get full paired, but I think, like, it doesn't really matter. This kills. If this doesn't kill, I'm going to be so sad. This kills, though. It's Stab. That full para sucked if this doesn't kill. But, like, I'm pretty sure I've been in this scenario before, and it always does. Let's see, stab you turn. Nice and 88%, and yeah, I will be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. We have the Magnezone matchup now, but I do carry Drill Run on Assault Vest to Scavaliers, so 
As long as I don't miss 5% of the time, we should be okay in that scenario. Let me lead off with... I'm gonna lead Greninja here. Oh, okay, so I, I'm just gonna go for Gunk Shot and try to get my kill early. Like, if this guy wants to be crazy and not scout, yeah, good play. Okay, now I like the idea of going Bulu here. As they go for U-turn? Let's see who comes in, though. Either, like, Lottie or... Okay, they go zone. They're just gonna Volt Switch, I think. I don't... Well, they could Flash Cannon. I'm gonna go to Heatran. Good double. I'm just gonna go to Tornadus, though. As they get up Barox. Let me hit him up with a Defog here. As uh, Pex comes in, I can just knock that off, though. They just go for Scald. That's fine. And I can't even miss, like, very much of the time right now. Uh, does Z Hurricane kill them? Like... If it does, I definitely want to go for that. No, it doesn't yet. Ah. I was hoping for a bit of luck there, but it's okay. Okay, now it kills. They should scout, but I'm just going to go for the kill, like, while I can. Yeah, they go to zone. Good play, but... And then they double right back to Pex. So that's interesting. That just gives me a free Magma Storm kill on something. Yeah, dude, what? I don't care if you're Surf. This is the biggest threat to my team. <laughs> Should I get into Scavalier here and not have this take a plus one Surf? Yeah, probably. Oh, it's distort power. Okay. I mean, that's whatever. I'll just go for, like, Iron Head. So it's nice to know that that's mono attacking. Let me just drill around. Yep, and I didn't miss. Nice. Uh, the drill around crit didn't matter. 46. I want to actually know whether that was Scarf or not, because that could give me more intel on the Lele. Magnezone. That was a Choice Scarf set. Okay. Or it was like Sub-Z or something like that. Maybe even Assault Vest. I don't want to go hard into my Defogger while a T-Spike is up. I'm just going to stay in. As they go for a U-turn, they don't really have the greatest switchins here. I guess Pex is the one thing, right? Let me get in Tornadus, though, on the Scald. Hit him up with this defog, and um, I'm going to continue fishing for hacks on this thing. I just missed the 91% thing. That took a little bit of annoying. And they get the burn. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's go for Magma Storm here. Okay, Te Pex is dead. That's, like, insanely good. <laughs> okay, that's really nice. I don't know why I clicked rocks. I probably should have just killed it because I have to defog anyway, but it's fine. Let's suck this guy off to the Psy Shock and then bring in. There's like multiple ways I can win this game. I could lose by missing Gunk Shot right now. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, let's go Gunk Shot and uh, really hope that I hit it. <laughs> Goodbye. Lottie comes in. Oh, dude, what? Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, like, I have to attack those. If you lose, then I lose, so. Yeah, now I just sweep with Ice Beam, I think. Lando T comes in. I should just, like, go... I guess, like, Heatran. On the rocks. Just Magma Storm here. So they go hard Bulu. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's GG right there. Because, yeah, like... I don't know why. These people are playing okay, like, early game, but then they just end up me messing up late game a lot. I'll be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. Staraptor is a big issue. Thankfully, I do have a choice card for that is faster than it, but Brave Bird spam is going to be really problematic. Especially if my Heatran gets caught by a close combat or U-turn. That's going to be tough, yeah. Let's lead Tornadus, though, as they lead Staraptor. <laughs> I'm just gonna go Heatran. If they close combat immediately, dude, don't do it. You have a Tornadus in front of you. Okay, they just sacked the biggest threat. <laughs> hmm. That's really good for me. Was that really worth it for them? No ground type's a bit tough right here. Yeah, because they're going to be able to Volt Switch out. Uh, Z Celebrate Victini could be an issue from this position. But they bring out Torkoal, okay. I want to get this in before hazards go up, so let me bring this out. Yeah, because if they get up rocks, I'm going to get mine. They go for Fire Blast, even better. Let's get those guys up as they uh, yawn me. Okay. Uh, rapid Spin. I'll go Tornadus. 
Let me just click Z. It's like a very safe click, yeah. Because even damage on Manectric is really nice for Megalop and Greninja, so... I didn't really mind whatever play they made right there on Z. Where am I? Maybe in 1700s right now. 1682. I feel like ladder ranking is going to be different. Let me check that. 1711 on ladder ranking. Okay. So not the highest, but not the lowest necessarily. I think I started lower though. Like maybe around 1660. Uh, Manectric. Manectric. I don't want to go Bulu and give that Victini free setup. I'm going to lose. Yeah, that's that's a game losing play. Let's go Tran. On the flamethrower. I did not read that, I can tell you that. But this does give me rocks. I was just trying to sack this off. Yep, I will take those gladly. <laughs> that's actually so nice. I think they tried to catch a Scavalier there. Alright, let's bring in my Bulu now. Hit him up with the Horn Leech. They're going to obviously Volt Switch out into one of their three Grass Resists. You shouldn't Flamethrower. <laughs> Dude, what? You're gonna do 40 and I'm gonna get it all back. Yeah, what? Okay, well now... Um, I'm gonna be a bit lower. They did get a burn on me. Uh, now I could... I don't know if my Greninja is enough to beat that Victini. I might have to hit Gunk Shot again. I have speed control for everything else. Which is really nice, don't get me wrong. But if Victini comes out right here, I don't know what to do. If Kamoa comes out, what's my play then? I think I withdraw into Tornadus and... No, because if I withdraw to Tornadus, I would have to hit, hit Hurricane to break the sub. And then try to revenge with my, um... Greninja. That might be my best bet, though. Like, I don't want to go Hard Grind, obviously. I don't want to go Megalop. Megalop could be worth it. Let's go Megalop. Oh, they're just regular DD. Okay. So in this case, what I have to do is... Fake out here, get a bit of damage off. If they kill me, then I revenge with Greninja. Yeah, I have to hide Jump Kick. I can't risk them Dragon Dancing again for free. And if I miss as they Dragon Dance, I lose. I did hit. I was actually already faster, huh? So Terrain is gone now, which is really nice. I need to make sure not to give it back to them right now. Uh, What's my best? Like, Bulu is the most expendable, but I actually, like, don't want to give them recovery, so... I guess a Scavalier just has to go, unfortunately. <laughs> this is actually great. I think I might have to force them to take drops with close combat just to kill me. Unless they don't even have it. No, they do. Yeah, that, that drop could actually be really nice. So here's the thing. If my Mega Lop, I would sped them when they were at plus one. I think Scarf Greninja might outspeed this at plus two, but I feel like there's no reason to risk it. Yeah, there isn't. Fake out might just straight up kill, and I have sacks if necessary, so yeah, fake out did just straight up kill. So now they're gonna bring out the um the ditto. I guess they could go Victini if they really wanted to, but I just gotta keep Greninja just to beat the ditto. Like, if they lock anything but U turn, then I can just U turn on them after with Greninja by switching out when they copy me, but the thing is I'd like, if they lock U-turn itself to knock out Mega Ninja, the other two can take it on. So Ditto comes out here. I guess they're going to go for the normal type hit. Yeah, that would make sense. Hmm. Yeah, I'll suck Bulu. As they go right for a turn. I do have to hit Hurricane to win this game, I think. Yeah, no way around that. I have to hit Hurricane. Which is what I, I was trying to avoid an inaccurate move this entire game, but I don't see a way around it right now. I have to hit Hurricane. I did hit Hurricane. Okay, nice. Phew. I hate hitting inaccurate moves or having to hit inaccurate moves. I have them though, so like, it, just in case, like, scenario is there, but I'll just knock off. Should give me the chip I need. There's Scarf Bolt Strike. Did I just lose? What's my best option? Do I... That terrain could actually be the end of me. Assuming Greninja can live a hit when it's not the correct typing, I think I get have the win right here. So let's go to Greninja and click a U-turn.
Yeah, that is a lot. They're able to knock me out. I'm pretty sure I live. But I have to hit two gunk shots in a row, which is impossible. I've already hit a hurricane, so if I miss, then it is what it is. Uh, they got poison. I still have to hit this gunk shot in order to win. Greninja. I don't, I don't, I don't really mind if I miss. Like, I hit the hurricane. Like, hitting another gunk shot here would be pretty lucky, but I am able to do that. I will be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. We have Giorgio Jackson now, who is always out here with the exact same six. I forgot what the sets are, though. It's been a while since I've played this, but I'll go Greninja lead against the Lando. Just hit him up with Ice Beam immediately. I'm pretty sure this is Sash. Goes Porygon too. That is okay. I have a Heatran. Scullipede ends up getting doubled in. We'll go Tornadus on the Spike. Just go for a knockoff. I don't want to get Endeavored down. Yeah, I really don't care about... I, don't, I really don't want to get Endeavored, so I'm just going to knock off. There's that. Let's look at Defog here. As the Porygon comes in, are you really going to give me a knockoff on that too? I'm very confused. There is a Protect. I'm just going to Z now. Like, I'm going to get Regenerator back on this at the end of the day. I don't really care what they do. Like, the Z-move could have been nice to keep, but it really wasn't worth it, in my opinion, risking that. I like a Scavalier, but it is my Kirin Black check this game, so let's go Tapu Bulu. So they go for U-turn, so uh, Mega Mawal is about to come in. No, they go Kirim, so I can go a Scavalier here on the Substitute, but this can't really hit me very hard. That's going to do nothing. 56 a bit more than I thought, but it's okay. Yeah, I'll just click Iron Head again. Like, if Lando comes in, I get good damage off on that for Lop and Bulu and whatever, so... Oh, a little bit less than good damage, I guess. Let's go Tornadus. Oh, uh, no, they actually clicked Stone Edge and missed. That's really rough. Are they Scarf, though? Like, I feel like they're not. I'm just gonna go Bulu. Maybe they are. I'll SD up, though. Although, what's this? No, the Z was on Kyrim, so this is not Flynium. I can live a hit from this, so I'm just gonna superpower. And kill it. Yeah, that does, like, an okay amount, but it's not enough. And a Scavalier can still take on that Greninja just fine, so... Yeah, what really sucks, though, is... They would have gotten rid of my ground immunity right there, and they weren't able to. Let me bring out Heatran as they bring out the... Lando T. I think Bulu is just the all-around best play. As they go right for the Earthquake, I can just Horn Leech them down right here. So they were never locked in. So Mawal comes in here, right? No, P2 comes in. What? Then they withdraw to Lando. I will just Horn Leech again, dude. Yeah, there is the play you should have made. So double Intimidate is actually really annoying, but... I guess it doesn't really matter. I just superpowered into range of Mega Lop, and I think I win that way. As they try to double out again, but I wasn't going to let them... Like, all I wanted was damage, and then the Mega Lop just won the game with on its own. So it looks like this will be another win for us, and yeah, I will be right back. Okay, I have another game right here. My opponent has a... This looks like it would be Sticky Webs, but there's no web setter. I guess it's just, like, complete offense. I don't want to get, like, completely destroyed by Thundee lead, so... Let me lead Mega Lop. As they lead off with the Guard Chomp, I hope it's not Tank Chomp. That would be really annoying. Let me fake out. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to Ice Punch and have them be... I'm just going to Ice Punch, actually. Yeah, Ice Punch is okay as an initial play here. They go Celesteela, good play. Could have Earthquake. I did freeze Celesteela, okay. Should I, like, try to take advantage of that? I guess I will. <laughs> like, because I can, so why not? And yeah, I will be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. Last game, I obviously got lucky. Regarding the high jump kick, I was definitely thinking about making a safer play in case they thawed and click protect. But when I thought about it, I realized if I get the high jump kick off, both Greninja and Tapu Bulu basically just win the game. And even if they do thaw and get the protect off, I still have Mega Lopunny at 50%, so it wouldn't be the end of the world right there. So that was more so my thought process. Still a lucky game though, obviously. Another Zapdos, you gotta knock it off, gotta wear it down. And whatnot. Tapu Bulu can easily do that. Scarf Togekiss is really annoying though. I'm gonna lead a Scavalier. Oh, this is actually a. Mm, I'm gonna go Heatran. Maybe on Heatwave. Look, I wanna knock off the lefties here, but. Is that worth it? Yeah, I'm just gonna knock off. I don't. They, maybe they don't even have Heatwave. Yeah, they go for Discharge. So that's gonna do nothing, dude. 
I do get static paralyzed, but lefties are gone, which is so nice. And I'll just go to Heatran now and try to get up hazards. I hate spreading paralysis though, that's the worst. What's gonna be my win con this game? I guess like Greninja looks really good with Ice Beam. I need damage on Ferrothorn though. As well as maybe their own Greninja, but I think Hazards plus like maybe Fake Out can do that alone. They uh, tried a Toxic there. Interesting. But I can just get a Brox and uh, then proceed to Magma Storm. Are they really just going to sack off the Zapdos here? Like, I don't agree with that. They really are. Okay, I'm, I'm like perfectly content with this. And they're still not even paralyzing me, so if I hit red here, I'm in a golden spot. I hit again. They did paralyze me there, so... They got two discharge parries off of what, like four discharges? That is above odds, I guess, but I did hit Magma Storms, so. So I got Rocks up, killed the Defogger, and opened up Tapu Bulu with just Heatran. Heatran is so good. Uh, is this also a Defog? That would be so annoying. I don't want to go Tornadus. I'm just going to go with Scavalier. As they uh, get up their own, okay. Well, they're not going to click the Rock move now, so I'm going to go to Tornadus on the Earthquake. They click knockoff, which is fine. I can just go for Supersonic Sky Strike here. Best case, they go to Ferrothorn, but I don't, honestly don't care what play they make. They have to sack off the Lando. Yeah, I'm in a really commanding position here. Because Lottie is going to come out next. Are they going for the win with this right now, though? I still have a full health of Scavalier, dude. I have a Mega Horn. This is not going to work. If this works, I'll just laugh. Like, I've gotten lucky last game, so... Alright, uh, the damage there would have been huge for Greninja, but I guess it is what it is. I'll just Magma Storm here. As I hit through Para, okay, Heatran's coming through this game. That's something I'm noticing. I can go Tapu Bulu on the Hydro. Just hit him up with the Horn Leech here on the Togekiss switch in. That looks to be Scarf. So what I'll do here is go Heatran. No, it's not Scarf, never mind. It's a nasty plot. The fourth Magma Storm, jeez. And then I break through again. This thing is so good. I love Heatran. Okay, if you break through Flinch, Para, and hit a Magma Storm, that, that's like impossible, right? There's no way that's happening. <laughs> I actually did that. I broke through Flinch, Para, and hit Magma Storm. That's disgusting. My Magma Storm does fire off, though. Okay, so they're able to knock me out there. I don't want to go that route. I think Fake Out plus Return probably kills. If it doesn't, though, that's going to be horrible. You know what? I'm just going to hit a Gunk Shot. They're not going to switch this out anyway. Like, it's going to be a... Okay, they did. Huh. I really thought they would not, but... I guess that's fine. I can just go to Scavalier here. On the uh, Protect. That's okay. Did I ever knock off the item? I did not. Let's do that now. Wearing that down is key. What is it? Leech Heat Protect, Hazard, Gyro Ball? I'm just gonna Mega Horn. As uh, they try to double seeds on me, but not gonna let that happen. At this point, I'll just stay in, as they're able to knock me out. And I think the game just comes down to me hitting these moves. Because I sweep from this position. I have no care for their Protect. I still win. <laughs> I guess I made myself maybe weaker to Shuriken, but I don't think it'll matter. Just don't miss or get a double protect and then I'll be fine. Did Latias live? I don't think so. Yeah, and if I kill this, then I also just win with um, Greninja. So they don't get the luck there. Like, I, I knew they would protect the first time, but I just clicked high jump kick anyway, because I don't think it would matter. They go to Lottie. Let's click return and see how much I'm doing. Not enough, so I do have to get out of here. And now... Who's the best play? I mean, they're on the defensive, right? I could just spam Ice, Beam, Ice Punch. Let's go for a bit of that. Because, like, look, I'm doing 45, and, like, they're getting five, they're netting, like, t 5 to 10% per turn. Eventually, I'll just freeze them. So they opt to switch out there. That's smart. I'll go to Bulu here on the Spike. I'm not dead on entry, though. In fact, I'll double into that right here. Because I don't want Togekiss recovering at all. As they opt to bring in the Lottie, that's fine. I can just Ice Punch here. Yeah, this defensive play isn't... I, if this works out, I'll be very surprised. But... Like, they're giving me health back right now, too. They sack off the Togekiss to get back Greninja. 
I guess this is the point where they click Shuriken. I think the guaranteed win is sack this, then go Greninja and U-turn. Because U-turn should be doing way too much to that Lottie. I want to say it does anyway, so... Um, oh, never mind. I have to switch out. And this is dead on entry. Uh, did I just lose? It's not dead on entry. I can defog. Do I try Bulu first, though? I feel like I go with Bulu and start to Swords Dance right now. Because they have to, like, combine multiple times for stored power to do any significant damage. And I'm just gonna get up to plus, like, 6 and then start hurting them. Okay, let's force a Roost here, though. Yeah, that's doing way too much. They can't win. I just SD up here. And now what I can do is just spam Horn Leech into win. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> 55. Even outside of terrain, that's gonna win me the game here. So we were able to beat the Lottie in the end. Okay, stored power does a lot. <laughs> okay, I think I see what I gotta do. I have to defog. Yeah, that way I'm also not missing. Uh, maybe I lost. Alright, what's my best play? I guess I'll just lock U-turn and see what happens. I really thought Bulu had that, but I didn't expect it to get O-code. Yeah, they are able to win the game right there, so that is unfortunately going to be a GG. I really thought I had that. Like, was that a roll on Bulu at plus two? Well, it should be like 85 to 100. How <laughs> oh, come on, Mega Latias is insane. Oh, you Mega come on. They had two special attack boosts and two spit F boosts. What? Were they max special attack? Were they plus three? Oh, if they were plus three, I died. They had to be a plus three, right? Unless, like, if they were plus two with max special attack. I don't know why I can't remember right now, but... Plus two on max also didn't kill me. Yeah, they were, I guess, at plus three, and I just didn't remember. But that is unfortunately going to be the live. I mean, not unfortunately. That was a great live. We went, like, what, six and one, I want to say? Seven and one, something like that. I did hope you all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description. And I'll see you next time. Later.